cell phone technology could possibly be how you were able to hear about the Midtown shooting. Maybe it was the Atlanta News First app. For some just blocks away, it was an alert from the city of Atlanta. New at 430, Yasmina Alston met up with the grown-ups tasked with keeping children safe and calm at the center of the arts for puppetry. For 45 years, the Center for Puppetry Arts has been entertaining Atlanta. Every year, around 50,000 students come to visit their Midtown location, whether on a field trip or with family. We have over 450 performances a year and our museum, which holds over 4,000 um, assets. But on Wednesday, what started as a typical day full of kids and field trips quickly turned into a plan of action for the staff here at the center. Keep police presence at the High Museum of Art on 1280 block of Peach Tree Street Northeast in Atlanta following active shooter incident. Close to 400 kids with their teachers were at the center when the active shooter incident happened just minutes away, injuring four and killing one. Our staff went in immediately into the mode of protecting these children, both physically as well as mentally, understanding that it was going to be very confusing for them to not be able to get on the bus and go home. Executive Director Beth Chavo says they immediately locked their gates and closed all blinds. Just making sure that it was a distraction. Um, from what was going on and they didn't know what was going on. With no one allowed to leave and three levels full of kids, her staff jumped into action. So we had kids in their classrooms throughout the center and so each of those locations really just kind of hunkered down and we were able to add new programming just on the spot. We put on the Muppet movie. The center remained on lockdown for several hours. Chavo admits it was scary, but what was most important was keeping the young ones safe. You never want to be in that situation. Of course, I was incredibly proud of our staff yesterday. I mean, there were a lot of teary eyes talking about just how great the team came together. In Midtown, Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First. There are